Hey guys, it's Eva M. So, I've had many requests about making a video about dragons. I haven't really used mine myself yet, so I will do my best try to explain it to you. I just recently made it to Castle 19 as I'm making this video. I will probably have to make another video later on, uh, Dragons 2.0, uh, so bear with me. I will do my best to explain what I know to you. Uh, so hang in there and here we go. From Castle 19 you get three new buildings. Uh, those you need for the dragon to be able to use it and to defend against it. So you get a Dragon Shout Temple. Uh, later on here you can access the different dragon it's you have because there will be more ones uh, other than just the black one you get the dragon slayer uh, building here you can build dragon slayer bolts which are used to defend against dragons and then you also get the black dragon lair and here you build the dragon shouts that you use with your dragon uh, it's not enough to just have the dragon, you need to have dragon shouts to be able to use it. The dragon buildings, they cost crystals to upgrade. Uh, you create crystals in your crystal workshops. Uh, and it uh, costs gold to uh, make the crystals. So you're gonna need a lot of gold to make them. Also creating the dragon bolts cost a few crystals and the dragon shouts, the attacks, they cost more crystals. So a lot of crystals are used. The attacks are called dragon shouts. As you can see they are expensive to make at least for us. Uh, they cost both crystals and resources to create and you need a worker to create them. And for a castle 19 or above you might need several of those shouts to be able to zero the player. And you are not killing any troops with your dragon, you won't get any points in the kill events. You will only zero the uh, durability and the player gets randomly teleported. So no points, you just remove that player from its location. The Dragon Bolts, uh, your defense, those are cheaper to make. And uh, they still cost you a few crystals, but not as many. The uh, dragon shouts, they remove your bolts as it attacks, uh, so you could create more ones with a worker and refill. Uh, once they are empty, then the uh, dragon shouts attacks your durability and you will eventually be zeroed. So this goes for the black dragon shouts. Uh, there are some different uh, things to the other dragons, but I won't go through that right now as I don't have them and most of you won't have them either in my alliance at least. So I have made a few video clips of others using the uh, Dragon Shout. Uh, you use it uh, just as if you were to attack another player. Uh, your normal option is attack, but right to that option, there's an option of shout, and there you choose your dragon shout. So click on the player you want to use your shout on, and then choose shout, and your dragon will fly towards it, and it will attack that castle. So if it won't have any uh, dragon bolts, and uh, if it's a lower castle, you might zero it with one hit. But if it's a higher one and it got a lot of durability, then you might need more shouts. And here you will see other players being zeroed by dragons. Uh, so when to use the dragons? Well, they are really expensive, so I wouldn't use them in everyday attacks. 
it is of course always up to you how much resources you have and what you want to do. Uh, it's entirely your choice. There could be options like in kill events, if you have enemies attacking your hive, maybe you could use it to get rid of them, at least temporarily, until they teleport back. And there will also be some use during Reign of Chaos, but I will make a separate video about that, I think. Yeah. So that was all I had for now about the dragons. That was all for today. I hope you liked it. If you have any comments or any questions, you can leave them here. I will answer as soon as I can, of course. And uh, you can always like and subscribe to my channel if you want to. So I will see you next time. Be safe, take care. Hey, do.